Well, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mystical Fortunes, read by FEO Card Reader. If you're new here, let me just take a moment to introduce myself. My name is FEO and I've been reading cards for well over 30 years and a lifelong student of the mystical and the arcane. And it is my intention with this YouTube channel to help guide you, to enlighten you, maybe answer some questions that you may have, and maybe you'll learn to read cards along the way. With that out of the way, today's reading is for Cancer, Body, Mind, and Soul. What does your body, what does your mind, what does your soul, what messages do they have for you? But before we begin, we always do a chakra balancing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please take a moment uh, to review the introductory uh, uh, video where I explain what we're doing here. This should take less than 10 seconds, so let's get started. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, see your silver cord attached to the pure white potential. All right, so let's start with what messages do your body, does your body have for you, Cancer? What messages, if your body could talk, what would it want to say? This is for cancer. If their body could talk, clear them. If your body could talk, what would it want to say? If your body could talk, what would it want to say? What would it want to tell you? So this is for body, for cancer. If your body could talk, what would it want to say? What would it want to tell you? What does it need? What are you not paying attention to? And with that being said, I'm not a medical professional. This is not a health reading. Um, if you do need uh, health care, please see a professional about that. This is for fun and entertainment purposes only. I'm just reading what the cards are put in front of me. Full disclaimer down below. Okay, cards are ready. Okay, let's see. What does your body want to say to you, Cancer? Yin. Yin, yin, you've been taking too much in. Um, very receptive. Um, this could be too much stress. Uh, you could be sleeping too much. Um, this would be too much food, too much alcohol. This is just too much. You're just, you're, you're out of balance. You're taking too much in. Yin, yin, taking too much in. Serendipity. Very interesting. I'm going to say that, um, it just lately you've noticed you're kind of sluggish and the inertia and you've come across some kind of information that has lifted you a little bit lighter and your body's saying this information that you've come across is correct. Um, it likes that. It likes feeling lighter. Uh, eat more greens. I would also take eat more greens from this. It, your body might be asking for more um, greens as in lettuce, salads. Um, it's It wants to feel lighter already. And that's a natural occurrence around springtime uh, for us. Our body has had enough of heavy winter food. And even Mother Nature starts presenting green sprouts for us to eat. And uh, um, the very first vegetables that are available are dandelion leaves, for example, um, that, that type of thing. Um, so it's telling you that, um, it's taken in too much and it wants to feel lighter and news you've, you've recently discovered, whether it's a book or a YouTube channel or, uh, maybe even a new, new doctor, um, it likes that news it likes that direction um it hopes that you follow that blessed yeah that's blessed news um your body wants you to remember to uh bless it and be thankful for it um it has carried you through a lot um you may even be pregnant right now um if not, it's telling you it's a good time to be pregnant if you're uh, in, in that space right now. 
Um, but otherwise, um, treat your body as the blessed vessel that it is. Be thankful. It might not be perfect, but it's your body and it's carrying you through this. Look at these two um, visuals here are lightness floating in the air. Uh, your body wants to feel like that again. So if you've been this yin um, in Ursha, it really wants to feel a lot lighter. It really does. Um, whether that means um, weight loss for you or um, moving more, um, you know, it lightly, nothing heavy, like no weight lifting or anything that holds you down. Uh, this could be a jogging situation, um, a dancing, anything that feels light and airy. Your body really wants that. I'm almost getting like a, I'm breathless too. Um, breathe more. That's just what I got from that. Breathe more, breathe more, more breath. That's what this lightness is coming in. Never ending story. It's the same things keep coming up time and time and time again. And I don't know why at first I thought that was a cookie. Um, and yeah, I kind of saw something else too. Um, maybe some, um, Ooh, I don't like that visual. Um, the never ending story is you keep putting your body through the same thing over and over and over again. And then you wonder why it's not uh, responding for you. And so that's the never ending story. You're really in a rut, especially with this yin card here. You're really in a rut. Um, you kind of feel, I, I, I wouldn't say a depression, uh, but a little bit down, a little bit stuck. If you look, these wings are, they aren't flying anywhere. Um, and look at these wings are flying. Um, so this is where your body wants to be. And this is where you are right now in a lot of inertia, a lot of feeling stuck. And no judgment here, um, cancer. A lot of people are right now. A lot of signs are getting very similar messages like enough is enough. Two years of sitting around is enough. It's time to um, change our focus. Oh, clean it up. What did I just say? Change your focus. Clean up your mind. Clean up your mind. Um, clean up your law of attraction thinking. Um, clean it. Yeah, I think this is more with your mind because this is more of a, a card on here about feeling light and she's up in the air. So I would say, and this is what it's pointing to, um, clean up your thoughts. Really clean up your thoughts. Um, so what are your thoughts? Life is boring. Well, clean that up. Life is light. Um, life is, you know, I'm stuck, uh, clean that up. I can move forward if I want. Um, you know, and that's this never ending story. I think you, you've got yourself into a lot of mind drama, but we'll see that more in the mind reading, but your body wants to know uh, there's a deep, deep mind body connection that you have. And, um, it's interesting because cancer's a water uh, sign, which comes, which I saw the in, which is a vessel right away, but then everything turned to air, thoughts, ideas, words. Uh, maybe it's time to get out of that um, watery, emotional part of you and start exploring more of your mind, your ideas, the more air part of you. Everybody has all four um well, it's actually all five, but everybody has all four within them. And sometimes some are dormant and sometimes some are um, more active than others. So this is definitely cleaning up your mind, cleaning up your thoughts, cleaning up your law of attraction. Um, you know, so that might be where serendipity, where you need, where you need to find, um, that might be a direction that you need to go that your body's asking you. Um, you know, your mind is taking over your body and, um, your body says, I, I need to take over this. I need to take over this. If you, if you want my body to work at full, full speed ahead, kind of, Oh, look at, I just said full speed ahead, go the distance. Yeah. You know, again, even this one is light. It's in the air. Um, this is go the distance. This is definitely your body's asking for more movement. 
Um, I would definitely say your body wouldn't mind getting into some jogging. Your body would, anything that's fast, elliptical, um, treadmill, um, stairs, anything that's really fast moving. This isn't like a yoga um, or even a walking card. This is like, please move me, please. We've got to get some energy going here. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, this isn't a time again, disclaimer down below. Um, if all is well, check with your doctor first, all that, um, definitely, uh, get moving, get moving. Um, clean up your thinking. If you think, oh, I'm not a runner or I don't want to run or I don't, I don't like uh, fast activities and the, your body's saying, I don't care. I need that. I need that right now. I need to be able to feel free and move fast. And uh, this is almost a fire energy here. So, you, you know, your body, I think with this, it's been very easy to be in the water element these last couple of years. And now it's like, clean it up. Let's get going. Let's lighten things up with some air and some fire energy. All right. Excellent. Okay. So let's go to your mind. What does, oh, what does your mind want to tell you? If your mind could talk, what would it say? If your mind could talk, what would it say, Cancer? So for cancer people, what the mind, what if the mind could talk directly to you, what would the mind want to say? And again, disclaimer, I'm not a physiothera or physiotherapist, psychologist or anything like that. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Um, if your mind could talk to you, what would it say? Now, this isn't you thinking of your thoughts. This is your actual mind coming up with the thoughts all on their own. What would they say to you, Cancer, if they had a chance? And here's their chance. What do they want to say to you? Cards are ready. Okay. The loving woman. Well, yes, of course, my Cancerians. Um, they are the loving woman. They are the uh, mother archetype they are the um, partner archetype um, you know I think your mind is saying go back to who you are look at like even the abundance and cancers in the summer when some of the fruit and and whatnot comes around and and looking after a small puppy uh, the the mother so this is this is you cancer this is you and this is your mind saying go back to who you really are so is, are you trying to be somebody you aren't um because that's when your mind is happiest is when you are peak cancer cancerian um energy lovely lovely energy fear why is your mind afraid oh i just got goosebumps what's your mind so afraid of are you putting a lot of fear into your mind? I think that's what it is. It's the energy of fear. Turn off the news. Go back to being the earth mother, the loving mother, the nurturer. Um, yeah, turn off, turn off the news. Are you in fear right now? So much is going on in the world. Um, this fear energy, your mind is saying, please stop it. Please stop with the fear. Please stop feeding feeding me with fear. Um, I don't think it can take it anymore. No, it can't. It wants optimism. Your mind is optimistic. Look, we've got lots of heart fruit here. Lots of fruit here. Um, your mind is very optimistic. Your consciousness, that's your actual mind saying optimism. Let's cover up that fear with some optimism. Be who you can be. Your mind is saying, please, let's just go back to who we are. Let's not live in fear. Let's not live. Let's, let's live. Let's be optimistic. Everything's going to be fine. The sun comes up again tomorrow. Yeah, very nice message from your mind. The vast universe spirit. Invite more spirit. Get rid of this fear. Know that everything's in perfect order. Um, invite more spirit into your life. And like, even look at the little, um, little fairies around her hair. Um, you know, invite more spirit, whatever that means to you. 
Um, whether, you know, that's going to church, whether that's lighting some candles and meditating, um, bring that in because that's going to in, negate this energy. Bring this spirit, this Cancerian spirit in, this loving energy in and get rid of this fear. Oh, joy is fun. Isn't this the perfect cancer card? More ener energy from fear to fun. Your mind is saying, let's have more fun. Let's be more optimistic. Let's get back to who we are. Um, this fear mongering that's been going, I'm going to cover that right up. This fear mongering that's been going on. Your mind is had enough. It's had enough. It's like, please, please. Let's stop it. Let's have fun. Let's have optimism. Let's bring in some spiritual stuff. Let's just, let's just look at, let's just go back to who we are. Wow. Fun, fun. Oh, if you have to travel. And even this card is a little bit of travel. This is looking at on new lands. Your mind is saying, can we please just travel? Can we go? Can we stretch our eyes? Look at, she's stretching her eyes. Can we go have fun? I mean, maybe this is a good time to go to Disneyland, for example, or go anywhere that you, that you have fun that reminds you of what it's like to be a child again. Um, you know, and here again, we have the mother with, with the children and, um, it, it, go have fun. Don't go on a holiday and study museums and no, go to the beach, go have fun, go do things. Um, if you can't afford that, do a staycation and go do fun, go to the, the local fair, go to the farmer's market, even just to get out to the farmer's market. Um, but even just to go for a weekend travel, maybe you have a cousin in a, in a town close to you or do something. Your mind is saying, please, please, for the love of God, let's get out of here. Let's go do something. Let's get rid of this fear. Let's go see that the world is safe. I just got that download. Let's go see that the world is still fun and safe. Oh, beautiful message from your mind, Cancer. Beautiful. All right. So let's see what your soul wants. What message does your soul have for you? Remember, soul is S-O-U-L and S-O-L, meaning our soul, the energy for our soul comes from the sun. So let's see what the sun, the soul, has a message for your soul. I don't do too much for the soul because the soul is perfect in each and every way. We're just going to help it. We're just going to help our body and mind connect with our soul a little bit better because our soul always knows better than us. Okay, cars are ready. Aqua Aura. Now look at that because you are a water sign so aqua i'm not surprised at all healthy communication and relationships heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood beautiful so um look at more more angel wings and lightness for you cancer look at so much lightness like she's just floating above there aqua aura um I want you to find a little piece of this. Um, you don't have to spend a lot. Sometimes you can get it for as little as 50 cents, a dollar. You know, those um, go to any kind of spiritual store. They always have small little chips of, of crystals. You don't need a lot. Um, tuck a little bit in your bra, put some in your pocket, or put some uh, under your pillow sleeping. And I want you to do that for, for 30 days and uh, get back to me what difference there is. Um, but healthy communication and relationships. So you might have to do some communicating that you need um, to travel and go have fun. And uh, just even healthy communication is, you know, get rid of that fear. Um, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, it was my absolute honor and pleasure to do this reading for you. Uh, if you like this, please uh, click the like button because that tells me that you want to see more videos like this. 
And um, please take good care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.